Today, are you guys ready to become scientists and learn the periodic table through a really fun and highly addictive game? I am. Let's go. Whoa, guys. This is Liam 2.0, and welcome to a brand new video on a brand new game. And this game just happens to be called Toka Lab. And, um... Let's go ahead and get straight into it. I've got really no words to describe it. We're going to start off with an element, and then we're going to do things to it to uh, create new elements. It's a really, really, really fun game. Uh, I've seen some YouTubers play it and decided that I want to play it. And a really cool thing is that I'm actually learning, like, the periodic table in, um, uh, what do you call it, chemistry. So, yes, I'm really excited to do this. Let's go ahead and click play. And here we are in our brand new science lab with all of our scientific -y tools. And <laughs> that was a weird word. And yeah, can we just tap to begin? So we have got this little guy that can. Ooh, we can fling him around. Ooh, whoop, whoop. And he can just like sort of float. Oh, and he's stuck to the ceiling. He sort of doesn't fall very fast, does he? He sort of floats. So what is this element? Uh, if we go to our periodic table, how do we do that? How do you do it? Oh, okay, let's just go ahead and do something to this guy. So we have, I don't know, it might be boron. I can't remember what we start with. So let's put it in. Let's go ahead and freeze him. How about that? So uh, we're going to tap on this station. And ba you'll see what I mean about this game when we get to it. So I guess we pull this down and we're going to freeze him. And let up. He's changed into something different, so we can go out, and we have a new element, and our periodic table is here. Okay, so we started off with phosphorus, and this is sulfur. Um, also, I have a periodic table up right here uh, for our convenience, and right here is where we've started off. So we've started off with phosphorus right there, um, element number 15, and then we have sulfur, number 16. And this is what we can do to those elements. We can, um, so we have sulfur. We can electrify it, burn it, or spin it. So let's go out here, and what should we do? Uh, what should we try first? Let's try and, let's try el electrify him. This thing looks like, it looks like a little face, doesn't it? Like, the little mouth and, like, the tongue and little eyes I guess okay um so we're gonna turn up the power and all the way boom and we have a new element who is this guy you're looking cool he's got little arms nice you look um I don't know what you are what are you he is se and se is let's look on our periodic table uh selenium I I don't even know what that element is, but, uh, great. Um, it looks like a little red crystal, I suppose. Ooh, are we able to, like... So we can really expand in, like, any direction. Um, and we have this giant periodic table to fill in. I mean, look how big this thing is. What should we do? What should we do? Let's try... Hmm. Let's try to move this way a little bit. Let's go... T Oops. Well, whatever. We'll do this to selenium. We'll freeze selenium. Um, and then what's he going to turn into? Whatever this is. Let's go ahead and click on him and find out. Uh, <laughs> now you just have to wait. I love all the, the confetti and stuff. And these guys' animation are so cool. If only um, real elements looked that cool. So this guy is arsenic. As in, like, the spice or something? Or is it even a spice? I don't know. You know, arsenic sauce, that sort of thing. So I can't even go this way anymore. I need to go down. So, ooh, this is one we haven't tried before. So do I spin it? Looks like I do. Ooh, I can spin it really fast. Go, go, go! Sparks flying! I see confetti! I see confetti. Let's stop. How do I stop it? Okay, there we go. What is that? It's got like one eye. Uh, I can't wait to find out what this is. Little presentation ceremony, and wait for the periodic table. S B, <laughs> S B. Um, antinomy, antimony. 
I don't know what that is, but he's a little cyclops. That's so cool. <laughs> what about... Question mark? What does that mean? So can I do anything to him? Uh, let's try... Let's do whatever this is up here. And wait, let's try with... What are his, like, properties? Let's see. So, does he stick to the ceiling? Uh, apparently not. Come on. He won't stick to the ceiling. Uh, he's sort of bouncy, isn't he? He's like, watch, if he falls... Uh, I can't even get him to fall. There we go. Bounce! Bounce, I command you. Yeah, he's sort of... He's really, like, blobbery. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Let's go ahead and try these chemicals, though. Uh, I don't even know what they're gonna do. Uh, apparently we can just, like, tip these in. Let's do a little orange, a little blue, a little purple. What's it gonna do? What if we try all of them? There we go. And purple. Oh, we have to do this. Oh, that just drained it. That's not, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, we have to do this. Pause, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, whoa! Chemical reaction. Oop. See, I've exploded him into a billion little pieces of, of who knows what, who knows what. Is this still like, what, what was he? Well, I can't even remember what it was. Uh, and, where's my periodic table? Here, okay, so I can pull it down like that. Now I know how to get it. To, so it's antinomy or whatever, so it's just tinier, okay, whatever. I, I don't know what I did, honestly. Um, so I guess we can just leave this element as is for now because I don't know what the question mark means. Um, let's go ahead and... What's that mean? I don't even know what that was. Uh, let's go ahead and let's electrify Phosphorus. How about that? Let's see what happens when we electrify him. Uh, I just noticed there's, no, there's another li can't speak. There's another another little electricity machine in the background as well. Um, it is a really cool little science lab, isn't it? So all the way full power. Let's see what happens if I keep keep doing it. Apparently nothing at all, because this guy doesn't seem to be affected like at all. <laughs> okay, so what are you? Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh! His properties. One of his properties is apparently electricity. Look at him. He was all like electrified. Um, what is he? S-I. Is that silicon? Silicon! There we go! And that guy looks cool. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like. Oh, oh whoa, he's heavy. And he just falls straight back to the ground. We Look, I can't even move him that well. He's just, like, so heavy. So what can we do to Mr. Silicon? I sort of feel mean for, like, torturing them. Um, oh, look, that's cool. If you, Apparently we do the momentum thing, he'll turn back into phosphorus. But let's go ahead and try out something we haven't tried out before. Um, I believe. Let's try out the burner on Mr. Silicon. Mr. Silicon on fire! Ooh, what's gonna happen? Little Bunsen burner. Oh, he's changing! He's changing! Let's see what happens if we keep going. Keep going? Uh, apparently nothing. Oh, that's, that's great. Not that I want to torture you or anything, Mr new element that I don't know what you are. What is he? I'm... He's gonna be aluminum. Is that what he is? Oh, he's shiny! Metals are shiny, of course! Oh, that's so cool. I love how it brings in, like, the real... like, the properties of the elements, like, if they're hard or soft or heavy or shiny. I just love how it does this. This is such a good game to teach you about the periodic table and it's just so much fun and addictive I can't stop playing it it's already been nine minutes and I've only got a few elements come on we gotta pick up our game what can we do to mr. aluminum uh we can use some let's go ahead and freeze him uh sorry sir but you're gonna be frozen let's hold it down see what happens and he's changing he's changing let's see what happens if I hold it down some more nothing at all oh I froze him into a block of ice. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. What happens? Got to break him out. Tap, 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 tap. Break. Perfect. And what are you, sir? Um, I could start looking at the periodic table instead of waiting for this revealing ceremony. But he is Boron, Mr. Boron. I like that. Um, okay. So you don't look very 
boring, do you? You're that's that's a very interesting thing. He's got little leaves on his head. Um You know, I must say I expected Boron to be a little more boring. <laughs> Oops. What did I do? Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um okay, let's go down to the periodic table. Or drag the periodic table down rather. And let's freeze Boron and see what happens. So I just froze didn't I just freeze something to get Boron in the first place? Whatever. Okay. Uh, freezing up the tube, and... Oh, look at his... Look at his face when I change. He's like, Err. Oh, that, that's so sad. But, um, looks like he's all happy now. So what are you? Um, I, I don't know. Can I not tap and make it go quicker? He is... Is it carbon? Carbon! And I believe that carbon is in coal and ashes. So it sort of makes sense that Mr. Carbon would look like, um... Like, I don't know, like a piece of coal. Fun fact... Uh, carbon is also in diamonds. Oh, wow, looking like spin them. Wow, this guy's cool. Wee, wee. Oh, well, I was doing it better at first. Um, what can we do to carbon? Can we burn him? Yes, I knew we could burn him. Ha <laughs> ha. Carbon and plus fire. Yeah, that's that's pretty obvious. Uh, here we go. I mean, coal and fire is pretty obvious, so carbon and fire are obvious too. And, oh, look at his face. Oh, I feel so bad when I see that face. I'm just not going to look at it. Cover it up. Oh, I see smoke coming off the top of the beaker. I just... I just... Did I... Did I just get it? I think I just went past an element and turned something into a gas. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I think we have nitrogen. Nitrogen! Good job, everyone. We have discovered... A gas finally took us long enough, and oh, it looks like we've run out of room right there. So I guess we can continue on around here. So let's go ahead uh, to, I believe this guy was silicon, was he? S, what's S? No, sulfur. Let's go back to sulfur, and let's do the momentum thing. I don't know, kinetic en energy. I don't really know what this one's supposed to be, but it is pretty cool because we get to do this. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> I think I can spin it faster than, yeah, look at that. Ooh, we got a new element. Slow down, slow down, slow down. What did we get? We have another gas. We have the element of... Wow, that guy's interesting. <laughs> he was going, om nom. Oxygen! We got oxygen, everyone. Oh, well, that's, um, that's nice. We can actually breathe, uh, breathe now in our science lab. I've got tangled, tangled up in wires. Okay, there we go. We have oxygen. Perfect. Um... so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love, uh oh, didn't mean to do that. I love that, I love it so much that they brought like the actual elements properties and done this. Like the gases float, the metals were shiny. Just, I mean, look at this oxygen. What's this do? Huh? What? What? Why is there a bottle? What? What is the purpose of this box? I just got a soccer ball. Can I, like, throw a soccer ball? Oh! Oh, no, did you see that? Watch, it hurts him. Ooh! Painful. Knock out. Oh, that didn't hurt him. Ready? Knock out. Oh. Come on, where was that face? Ooh! <laughs> okay, so apparently it's a random box of nothing in particular. So what can we do to Mr. Oxygen? We can... Electrify him. Ooh, we're gonna electrify a gas. I've... I didn't even know that was possible, but uh, apparently it is all the way, and we're just gonna keep going. I think I burnt him. What? A can I? Can I fix him? What is that? What is this element? I don't even know. What comes after oxygen? Oh, he was really dark because he was burnt. What is he? He is fluorine, I believe. Uh, yes, fluorine, everyone. So, um, I don't really know what fluorine's used in. I recognize the name. What is it? It reminds me of something like toothbrushes or something. Why does it remind me of that? Um, okay, so apparently we can't expand any farther on this guy. So let's go back to Sulphur. Was that his name? Was that Sulphur? Uh-oh, got out of the app. Uh, yeah, it was Sulphur. Sulphur is like the guy for everything. And let's go ahead and heat him up because, I don't know, he seems to be 
um, a good element to expand to the right of the periodic table, which, fun fact, are mostly gases, and that's why we are getting um, so much of these gases. And, oh, is he poisonous? What is this? Well, this looks cool. Oh, he's got a really weird mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we got chlorine! We have chlorine, everyone! Um, that's less stuff like in pools and that sort of thing. It's also poisonous! Okay, <laughs> that's so cool! And again, once, ag uh, or once again, it's a gas, so yeah, very floaty. And I'm sort of, I'm done with making gases. Is this, we haven't made a noble gas yet. Where, how do we make noble gases? I don't know. So, if you don't know, this last group in the periodic, uh, in the periodic table, um, a group is what you call the vertical columns. Th this is called a, um, uh, a group, vertical. So, this is the noble gases group, this last one. And this one right here that I'm clicking on is the halogen group. And then we have uh, transition stuff. And then over here, this first row, we have alkali metals and then alkaline earth metals and then all of these are transition metals so let's go ahead and try to get some more transition metals um so or just metals in general so let's go to here and let's do this with aluminum so we're gonna fling him really fast till we get confetti there's still no confetti okay there we we've got confetti and oh i couldn't even see what was there first and what metal do we get we got wait for it <laughs> still waiting GA. I don't recognize that one. Gallium. That sounds cool. And what does he look like? Ooh. Very, very. Oh. He moves really fast. Whoa. I was going to say heavy because I couldn't get him to lift up in the first place. But yeah, you're an interesting little blob of nothing, aren't you? But <laughs> Or blob of gallium, I suppose. And am I able to interact with anything in the background? Let me just tap real quick. Nope. I don't think so. Um, so what can we do to Mr. Gallium? What did it say we can do? A uh, periodic table. What can we do? We can... Let's go ahead and go to the left a little bit more. And let's go ahead and freeze Gallium. Oh, this one's one of the ones where they make a really bad face, isn't it? Ready? Oh, look how scared he is. Look at, look at his face. Oh, look at... Wait, watch my little... Look how content he looks like. Oh, so glad. But then... Ooh, and we have a new element. Stop, I don't want to freeze him. We have... What is he? Look at that! Look at his little arms! <laughs> he's got like a blue and a red arm. Maybe he's like hot and cold? I believe that he's zinc. That is... I have to move over my periodic table. Come on, Mom. What is it? Zinc! I was correct! Okay, we have zinc, and he has like one red arm and one blue arm. Don't know what that's about, but... He is looking very cool. And we have another one of those question mark things. What does that even mean? Well, I guess that'll be a mystery. Maybe for another video. Because I am addicted to this game. This is so cool. Look how much of the periodic table we filled in already in just one video. Then again, it has been a 18 minute video so far without editing. So, yeah, I guess it makes sense. So, maybe this is actually a small amount of elements. <laughs> Well, that was the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I really, really enjoy this game, and it really helps me learn my um my elements and stuff and their properties. So, if you'd like to see another video on this game, uh, please do leave a like. I'm not really asking for likes, but I'm just there's not really a better way to ask you if you'd like to see it again. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with my terrible voice and stuffy nose. Bye.